<laughs> What's up, roadies? I'm some guy named Nate, and I'm playing more Dagon Rumpa. Trigger Happy Havoc on the show. Um, is this evidence that proves that Genocide Jack was really in the library? I'm gonna do a lot of reading, so if you guys are just joining us, I do a lot of reading in this shit. Don't make me, Don't make me say it again. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of shit to investigate. Books. Which one's the murder mysteries? There are no clues here. We need to check elsewhere. Ooh, I'm smart. Wasn't this locked? But all doors are unlocked during the investigation. If I remember, on the other side of this door is the archive, right? Hurry up and go inside. Oh, here? Let's go. It's all... It'll all make sense once you are inside. Black I can't fucking read. Just like the last part. Who put all the shit in the archive? Whoa, there's so many books and files. And so much dust, too. Achoo! I'm just adding that to be, you know, genuine. I would say there's enough value in this place to endure the dust. Okay. I could t I could talk to Biyaku Yaku. What's in this box? There's a wooden box. It's empty. Although, just judging by the smudges and dust, it looks like there was some something inside. I wonder what it was. There was an extension cord plugged in there. It proved very useful when I was in the library. An extension cord, huh? Boom. That's good to know. What else? Um, ooh, a lamp. A lamp's important. Huh? A desk lamp? Yep, you're using a desk lamp. Oh, yeah, the same one I saw but Yaku 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 using in the library before. What? Do you have a problem with that lamp? It was here before I moved it over there. It's too dark over there. I thought I put it to good use. Well, there you go. I got a Monokuma coin for annoying him, so that's fine. And more books. Whee! What are these books? There's a shelf stuffed tight with files. Without really thinking about it, I picked one at random. Ah, uh, you have a sharp eye indeed to select that file. Thank you, Bayaku Yaku Yaku. Huh? That's the report on the pres on a presidential assassination. The original is kept in the National Library. It won't be declassified for another 30 years. Are you sure you want to look at it now? What? There's no telling whose crosshairs you might wind up in for peeking at it. What? Without making a sound, I return to the file to the shelf. Why? I want to know who got assassinated. Was it Daniel Trump? Did Donald Trump get assassinated, lol? No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to get, like, the friggin' secret service at my door breaking my femurs. There are so many files stuffed to the shelf, I wonder what's up with all these things. Those documents are dangerous. Dangerous! They detail the people who control the world from behind the scenes. Dangerous truths for a commoner. You mean, like, members of a diet or something? Makoto, you're an idiot. No, I mean the ones with real power. A secret council. Evil council. Controlling everything from the shadows. If you're ready to be disappeared for it, take a look. There's some very interesting people in there. You're just kidding, right? Am I? Uh, I'll just let it go for now. Damn it! I want to learn all these secrets. It's over here. There's something in the corner. Oh, it's just a camera. There's even a surveillance camera in here. Oh, but Yaku 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 is right next to a fucking blue thing. There you go. There's a ton of thick files stuffed on the bookshelf. If you're thinking of looking through any of them, let me give you a little warning. Those things are filled with graphic and disturbing photos of all kinds of crime scenes. It's the kind of thing that any normal person wouldn't ever want to look at. Be careful. Huh? What do you mean? All those files there are, in, are investigation reports related to cold cases. Those are internal documents for police eyes only. They're not the kind of thing you'd expect to leak. Oh. So, are you finally beginning to understand the splendor of this library? The entire reason I was interested in the library is because this room right here is the home to classified government documents, police records, things no or ordinary person would ever see. Isn't it magnificent? This can't be for real. That's your guys' problem. Anything that doesn't fit into your preconceived reality, you label it a lie. Well, it's not bad. It's just, uh, it's not like I totally refuse to believe it, but... I mean, there's so much. You, How could anyone have put all this together? I suppose it just shows to go how much power Hope's Peak truly wields, or perhaps the Mastermind may have wanted to provide us with enough entertainment to keep us from getting bored. Uh, um, it's no use. I can't keep up with all this. It's just too unreal, Tournament. What's wrong? You still can't believe it? What about you? You can't believe it so easily. Things like that are unusually, usually impossible. What do you mean, usually? Uh, usual, normal, ordinary, simple, those things don't exist in the real world. <coughs> Sorry. Bleh. If you don't understand what they actually represent, you don't understand the nature of anything. Bleh. You don't pull your punches, do you? Besides, what you consider usual is based on your common sense, right? But what you think your own common sense applies to me at all? 
The documents gathered here are genuine. I have reviewed them multiple times. Really, hold on a second. You're saying you've read all these documents more than once? But all this has to be like top secret confidential stuff, so why? My family has a reading room just like this at our home. Ours is bigger, of course, and not as dusty. Huh? Members of the Takami family have access to a variety of government-related documents. That includes foreign powers as well as domestic. How is that possible? Ugh, I already told you there is a secret council that controls the world from the shadows. My family is a member of that council, and I have within my bloodline that will allow me to one day bend the world to my will. But to become such a ruler, you must know all levels of the world backwards and forwards. So whenever I have time, I like to review whatever documents and materials that interest me. Which is why I can proclaim without a doubt that the materials gathered here are the real thing. This is beyond believing or not believing, but Yaku 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 is actually starting to scare me more than an actual mastermind. And that's why I've always interested in me in the world was cold case police investigation reports. Reading through these reports had always been a hobby of mine ever since I was a little. It's excellent mental exercise. I've solved more than a few of those cases by just reviewing the reports. Wow. And among all those reports, one of my recent favorites is the Genocide Jack case. As he talked, Yaku 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 grabbed a specific file from the shelf. This is the complete case file. Every single report surrounding Genocide Jack cases has been compiled in here. Because there are so many, allow me to quickly summarize all the main points. To begin, there are two notable characteristics in every Genocide Jack murder. The first characteristic is that every crime the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. And the second is when the victims are murdered, their bodies are suspended in a certain way, like poor Chihiro. And also she got her damn blood on the hot lady poster. How am I supposed to deal with that? Bloodless written in blood and the victim's body is suspended. It's exactly what happened to Chihiro. Poor Chihiro. Save yourself. Save your surprise. The best part is yet to come. For the second characteristic where the victims are suspended, the only ones who knew about the particular fact were the members of the police or other higher-ups. By all accounts, nobody in the media ever found out. Huh? In other words, no one on the news, no one online, nobody knew about the aspect of each crime. Only key officials and the killer himself knew about the act of mounting the victim. That's hot. Now, if you recall Chihiro's corpse... Yeah, I recall it. It's right there. Her body is most certainly mounted in this fashion. Oh, man. So, how could the killer would have known about suspending the victim? That's the key question. But in fact, the answer is quite simple. The culprit isn't a copycat killer. It's the real Genocide Jack. Gah. That right there is evidence that Genocide Jack has hidden himself among the rest of us. Then Genocide Jack really is such a brutal Finnish killer and is walking around among us. <laughs> Things are really starting to get interesting, aren't they? I never imagined a killer with such a bad reputation would ever become part of our little game. Now, don't you think it would be good for you to take a look at what you've already seen? You might want to manage to ferret out a clue or two. If you get down on your knees and beg, I might even show you myself. Uh, where's the beg on my knees button? Okay, let's talk to Biyaku Yaku Yaku. Hmm. Biyaku Yaku Yaku. About that Genocide Jack case file. Could you, um, let me see it? Well, if you didn't, you didn't beg, but I guess it's okay this time. Feel free to look at it here, but I, you can't take it with you. Cool. Oh, shit. I'm shaking. But Yaku 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 handed me the file, and I flipped through it with tense, nervous fingers. Suddenly, my hand stopped. I had reached the page with photos of the scene of each crime had been collected. Yep. That's hot. The names Genocide Jack's victims ran on for several pages. Wow. Uh, scissors, scissors on the hands, uh, I really like scissors, bloodlust, blah, the victim of stab wounds, blah, blah, blah. That guy got stabbed in the nipples. Ken Harada, 32. Tetsuhiro Honda, 17. Shoji Gaku, 23. Kano Issei, 14. Takeshi Yoshida, 30. Komatsu Taro, Takemi Fumi, Gono Uchi, blah, blah, blah. That was, there was no end to it. He's just listing names. It doesn't matter. Everybody dies. But one thing became perfectly clear as I read. All of the killer's countless victims were killed and suspended in the exact same way. In the scene of every murder was the word bloodlust. It was left in the victim's own blood. Fun. Now, take a look at the next page and you'll find another interesting tidbit. The next page... Flip that page, Mokoto. Damn it. Profiling results. I do not profile. All the cases, crimes took place either on weekdays at night or during holidays, either day or night. The most common time for the killings take place on holidays in the afternoon. 
Based on these facts, it could have been suggested that the suspect may be a student. Wow. Evidence suggests that the suspect lingered at the scene, but when they did leave, they were in a panic. Because the eyewitness had never come forward, it's unlikely that there was, there was an external reason for this. This confused behavior suggests that the suspect may potentially suffer from dissociative identity disorder. Wow. The key point here is the culprit may well have a split personality. A split personality, like the kind of thing you see on TV. It's so part of another totally unbelievable story. But with this one is way more unbelievable than anything else up to now. Or maybe it really isn't. I don't know. I feel like my mind has gone numb. There you go. Genocide Jack Files been added to Truth Bullets. Alright, we should get going soon. Huh, where are we going? Anywhere but here. We finished our business here, haven't we? Ah, oh, way beyond. I am doing so much fucking reading. As usual, Biyaku Yaku turned and left without another word. I hurried out of the library to catch up. Man, there he is. Well, this is the part where we part ways. I have some things I need to take care of before the class trial. Huh? Just all of a sudden like that? Come on, enough of your annoying misapprehensions. Did you really think we'd be together this whole time? Take responsibility for yourself and do something useful. Move the investigation forward on your own. Well, goodbye. And just like that, he was gone. No. Just as quickly as he asked me to join him, he cut me off. In the end, it doesn't even matter. I feel like I was just in plaything. That's hot. Getting tossed around. That's hot. At the same time, I uncovered some really important clues thanks to him. Genocide Jack. He's the one that killed Chihiro. And the murderous fiend is one of us. But who is it? I have to find out, no matter what it takes. And to do that, there's somewhere I have to go. Investigate one more time. I have to go back to the crime scene in the girls' locker room. Or, or should I check the boys' locker room, too? And the others might have to come up with some info. Yeah, I need to find everything I can. Way. <laughs> uh, that's what uh, I sound like. Okay, downstairs, we can like, crap. The girls' locker room is here. So, pool. So, everything's on the second floor. We get the second floor, and someone gets murdered on the second floor. Okay. Ooh, hey, Tubby. What do you want, what do you want to talk about, Tubby? Ding, ding, ding. Fumi has discovered evidence revealing the identity of the culprit. Mm hmm another stat increase for me. Evidence, what did you find? I cannot reveal it just yet. But I guarantee what I found will steal the killer's breath from his lungs. Are you sure about that? Oh yeah, Miss Ludenberg. She uh, said she'd witnessed something worthwhile too. Really, what did she see? She refused to tell me. It's like when a girl bullies the boy she likes, right? Right. Okay, so where's Celeste now? The warehouse by the dorms. She was there, but at the same time, not there. What's, what's it going to be? Okay, let's investigate the body. Let's go back to the girls' locker room. There's Chihiro's body, just chilling. Hey. Hey. It's my friend. Hey, Kyoko, have you made any progress in your investigation? Generally speaking. But I have to get going. I have some unrelated... Something unrelated to take care of. Something besides the investigation? What is it? Wow. Nothing you need to worry about. Just concentrate on the murder. But, before I go, let me give you one piece of advice. You should examine Chihiro's body one more time thoroughly. That's hot. Also, her handbook is missing. You might want to determine its whereabouts. Goodbye. That's it. I'll be praying for your success. With that, Kyoko turned and left the girl's locker room. I guess I'll take another look at the body, then. And Chihiro's handbook is missing. That definitely is worth worrying about. There you go. Chihiro's e-handbook has been added to Truth Bullets. Cool. Let's look at her dead body. Kyoko said I should examine the body one more time. I know she said thoroughly, but I do have my limits. Well, I better give this a shot anyway. Let's see. Alright, Chihiro's hands are bounded. Looks like with some kind of rope. The rope was used to prop her up like a crucifix. Oh, it's, an ex it's the extension cord. That's obvious. The rope was used to prop her up like a crucifix position. Huh? The rope has a plug? There you go. That was easy. Wait, so then it isn't a rope at all. But there's more to think about it. The more that's not the only thing that concerns me. Chihiro's face... Uh, uh, Shihiro's fatal injury was a blow to the head, which means someone struck her in the head in order to kill her. That's right. There's the issue of her being suspended and the fatal blow. At first, I didn't see any reason to think about it too much either, then. There you go. But seeing them again and looking through the Genocide Jacks file, something's not quite right. Damn. What does this all mean? Oh, shit. Status of dead body has been added to Truth Bullets. Well, there's one thing that most likely tie all these mysteries together is that the nature of the rope that was used to suspend Chihiro. To figure that out, there's a certain place I need to revisit and look over again. Plus, it might help to look at Genocide Jack's case file one more time. Let's look at the blood pool. We have to look at everything. 
There's a blood stain on the carpet. It could only be uh, have been caused to hear as murder. Blah. What else is in here? Uh, I already talked to Mondo and I already talked to Sakura. They're still guarding the body. I guess I'll interact with Bloodlust again. The word Bloodlust is written on the wall in blood, just like all those other cases. Every crime scene, the word Bloodlust is written on the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's still more I need to check. Fine, what's this? Okay, so we looked at the animal poster. Jihiro's presence was especially weak, her body and her soul. Damn it. To target such a helpless being is unforgivable. What a wretched beast would do such a thing. I cannot forgive this. Okay, Sakura. We'll, we'll, we'll take him out. We'll kill him. Okay. I'll interact with the dumbbell again. There's a big blood stain on the dumbbell. Blah, blah, blah. This dumbbell is used as the murder weapon. Fine. What about the monitor? This is one of the monitors. Blah, blah, blah. Talk to Mondo again. Dude, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know. We already talked to Mondo. Let's draw these out to the pool. Okay. What's this thing? Oh, it's the, like, the counterbalance for the sandbag. I see. Let's look at Chihiro one more time. Chihiro's hands are bound with the blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Hit the wrong button. Blah, blah, blah. They're interact with the animo poster again. Listing poster. Ooh. Uh, the big breasted swimsuit model is pretty noticeable, too. <coughs> okay, then. That's pretty good. And also, her butt crack is like crazy all the way up her spine. A girl's locker room doesn't seem like the kind of place you find something like this. Anything else I can interact with? I interacted with the bloodstain, I interacted with the weights, I interacted with Mondo, I interacted with Chihiro, I interacted with the wall, I interacted with the camera. Leave the girl's locker room. Okay, so I did just miss one tiny bit of evidence, so I got it. Tubby is still standing here, I don't need to talk to him. I'm gonna go, what? Let me see. I'm sure there must be something wait left waiting for me to discover. Uh, is it in the boys' locker room? Is there anyone in the boys' locker room with any information? Hello? Oh, look, lol, they swapped the poster out. Tornado. Huh? This poster. It's a popular boy band called Tornado. Okay, I'm um, just looking at that. I think the blonde one is the coolest one. He probably plays bass. Nah, but he doesn't really because it doesn't have strings. Somehow it doesn't quite seem to fit the boy's locker room. Oh, but wait, that reminds me. The poster in the other locker room is... That's right, there's definitely someone strange about this. In the boy's locker room, there's a popular poster of a popular boy band. And in the girl's locker room, there's a poster of a big-breasted swimsuit model. Could this be the posters have been switched? Yeah, but if they were, why? What reason would anyone have? Maybe I should talk to someone who knows a little bit more about the locker rooms. Man, the two locker room posters has been added to the truth bullet section. Cool. Anything else I can interact with? Ew, there's another stain on the ground. There's a strange stain on the carpet. It looks like poo. What is it? The boys locker room carpet has been added to truth bullets. That's probably mud. That means someone muddied the floor. Can I interact with the pool? Let's go to the pool. Is there anything in the pool I can interact with? Is anybody near the pool? Is Hina swimming to relax herself? Nobody is here. Nope. Crap. There's a couple more minutes to this episode, guys. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. On the next installment of Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc, we are going to talk to Chihiro, no, not to talk to Chihiro, she's dead, talk to Celeste and talk to a couple more people. I uh, will see you in the next part of Dagon Rampa. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.